Yes. I was telling a young man that came to see me today, and I said that a time came in, in my life that I shut down television for five years. Five years. And for you, it might not mean anything, but for me, it was a big sacrifice. Five years. I was in love with movies. Not the type you watch, not Nollywood. I like American movies. I was in love with it, in love. Five years of my life, I shut down movies, I shut down football, I shut down television. Five years. Because I found out that television had become an access gate. The brother I was speaking with today, I told him, I said, if you do what I'm telling you to do now, I give you 14 days. You know you say that the, you are struggling with pornography, you are struggling with lust, you are struggling with all this. Is the problem is discipline in what? Is the problem. That's why you are vulnerable to Satan. You are careless. There are too many things you are involved in. You see, the Christian is not designed to do many things. You are involved in too many things, so there are access gates. Any small crack that Satan has, he will take advantage of it. I told him, I said, just shut down 14 days and spend 8 to 10 hours. Especially, me, I envy people who are in full-time ministry. They don't have to go to work. Hey, the day I enter full-time, you, you will see the difference. You will see it. You will, you will know that there is a difference. There's no way you can be in full time and the anointing will not be multiplied by 500%. It's not possible. Not possible. You don't have to come to the office at 8 and sign and be doing yes sir, yes sir. Then maybe when you want to travel in this place, eh, there's one class that they had. Nobody disturbs you. You can lie down before God. If you do that, 8, 10 hours every day reading books, Christian books for instance, just reading, Reading scriptures, reading, reading scriptures, reading books. Pornography will die. Because as you begin to do that thing, the core of your spirit will begin to yearn for something different. You are training it. You are, you are now whetting the appetite of your spirit for something that is not in this realm. It will begin to crave it. Those sexual dreams you are having where a demon will come and want to have sex with you in the dream, you will see the way you will revolt in that dream. The reason... You are always weak in the dream is that you are not disciplined in training. You are vulnerable. You are fighting as one that is beating the air. You are not precise. So everything in your life just goes. You just do things. And five years, I had to shut down TV. Some of you, the reason you've not grown in your love for God is that movies are like a, a yoke on your throat. Two minutes, you are inside Keke. You want to watch uh, Philomena love of Gochuku and they died. It's because of you that Nollywood has designed all the kind of movies they have designed. They know that you have a craving for foolish things. So when you come into the presence of God and you are saying, Lord, I love you, I love you, I love you. Satan knows that there's a, a, a landing pad in your life that he can use to infiltrate your space. So you are fighting like one who is beating the air. You claim that you want to win the boxing match, but you can't land precise blows because you are not disciplined in training. Because you need to train your spirit man. You need to train your spirit man. You need to train it. If your spirit man is strong, your soul will be secured. Because it is your spirit that is now educating your soul as a Christian. If your spirit man is, is the way he's supposed to be fed, your soul will not be vulnerable. Most of the time, the spirit man is like Kwashoko. So the soul is naked. And Satan can infiltrate. In warfare, in warfare, discipline in training is very important. So for the Christian, our training is not jumping poles. It's not taking a jog. Paul said that bodily exercise is not useless. It profited. 
there is a little profit. Why? It helps your body. If your body is healthy, your body will live longer to carry your soul and spirit. He says he profited little. He says, but the recommendation for the believer is that he should do what? Exercise himself in what? Godliness. There's an exercise. The way you do, hey, ooh, ah, ah, you have to exercise yourself in godliness. This is why we develop spiritual discipline.